Now, to add narration, click on this icon in the middle of the middle of your screen that says record a voiceover. At this point, this box will show up. When you're talking and it shows these green, this green lights lighting up, that's showing where your voice levels are. You want your voice levels to be about, or you want this slider to be about where your voice levels are hitting. So adjust accordingly. Now I would suggest that you have the play project audio while recording unchecked, because if that's checked, then your voice is going to be competing for what the computer is hearing coming from the screen. So make sure that that's unchecked. Now, in order to start recording, you simply move your mouse to where you would like to start recording, and then you press, and then you click. To stop recording, you again click. So I'm going to record this now. And now I can record, and this is really great, and what pretty tulips, and then you stop by clicking again. Okay, and then you'll see your little voiceover recording below. You can do the same little trick that you did with the audio but, and adjust the size of it by using this double-ended arrow, clicking, holding, and dragging. You can also move your voiceover recording anywhere that you want it to go by clicking, holding, and dragging wherever you want it. Something interesting here. You might have a problem with your recording being too soft and your music being too loud. So let's see if that's a problem. By clicking and then pressing play. Okay, you'll notice that the music got a little bit softer, but it was still pretty hard to hear my voice, if you could hear that at all, really. So what you want to do is double click on your recording, and this box will pop up. Now, this, when you're on the clip side, you can change the duration and the audio effect if you want. You can do all of these different things. And, or, you can click on audio. Once you click on audio, you can adjust the volume your volume. This is how your voice is sounding and you can increase the volume or decrease the volume. Now underneath it says ducking and that reduces the volume of the other tracks around it. So for instance my audio track. So you can adjust, reduce their volume by using this slider. You can also do fade in and fade out. You can reduce the background noise. You can use this customizer. So I'm going to reduce my volume of my other tracks a little bit and increase my volume here because I couldn't really hear myself. When you're done, click done. Now to listen again, click and then press the play button. Birds, birds, birds. And now I can record and this is really great and watch pretty tulips and then you stop by And there we go. So I could hear myself a little bit better, so you might want to mess around with that a little bit.